Hi guys, today we're going to be learning about changing improper fractions into mixed numbers in a pictorial way. So first, let's start by asking, what is an improper fraction? An improper fraction is anything that's larger on top than it is on the bottom. So for example, 4 thirds, the numerator is larger than the denominator, so we would call it an improper fraction. Another example of an improper fraction may be 7 halves. Again, my numerator is larger than my denominator, so it's improper. So how can we build an improper fraction using manipulatives? If we have a look at the denominator, we see three. So we'll know that our whole has three equal pieces. If my whole is a hexagon, I can split it into one, two, three equal pieces. So I know my whole has three pieces in it, but my fraction is four thirds. So how can I build that? If I start again with another whole, I can put down one third, two thirds, three thirds, and one more third to make four thirds all together. If we take a look at what we've built, we can see that we have one whole shape filled in with one third left over. If you remember back to our lesson last week about mixed numbers, we know that we can write a fraction as a whole and a fraction after it to make a mixed number. Looking at what I've built, I see that I have one whole with one third left over. Therefore, my four thirds that I built can be also written as one and one third. Let's do one more example together. Have a think. How could you build or draw eight sixths? Remember, it's an improper fraction because our numerator is larger than our denominator. How could you build that? So to build eight sixths, we need to have a look at the denominator we know that our whole will have six equal pieces. So this time I can take my same hexagon and split it into one, two, three, four, five, six equal pieces to make our whole. How then could you build eight six? We'll need one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, six, and Eight six. As you can see, we've built our eight sixths. We have one whole with two sixths left over. Therefore, we can write eight, eight sixths as a mixed number as one whole and two sixths, or one and two sixths. 